Có tự chưa? Không được theo số khoa à? Nói các bạn phụ in, không được theo Is it gender thing? Maybe. Today, we are going to use statistics to find out whether an average person's hand is able to fit into a Pringles can. To measure the size of the head, we measure it around the palm of the head, just below the knuckles, to get the circumference. In sourcing for a sample size, we took it from people in multiple locations in Singapore and ensured that they are unrelated to each other. This ensures that our sample is independent and identically distributed. Using the power of impression, we are going to find out what factors affect the size of a person's face. We have considered weight, gender, and height, as we place this to be the most important factors. But this is not exhaustive, and there are many other factors, although we deem them to be negligible. Using R, we can input the face size data we have collected. As we can see, our regression formula uses fit size as the dependent variable that has independent variables of weight, height, and gender. By using the summary command, we are able to see that the coefficient of gender is at 1.8687 cm. This shows that with a one unit increase in gender, there is a 1.8687 increase in fist size. From there, we can conclude that gender is the most significant factor in affecting one's fist size. Since gender is the most significant factor, we decided to present two sets of hypotheses, separating males and females. We collected a sample size of 30 female hand sizes. Since the circumference of a Pringles can is 20.5 cm, our null hypothesis will be new is less than equals to 20.5 cm, meaning that females can fit their hand into the Beatles can. However, since the sample mean of females is 17.8 cm, we can already conclude that an average female can fit their hand into the Pringles can and there is no need to conduct a hypothesis test of its significance. Now, we conduct a hypothesis test to mean sample size of the for the males, we will reject another hypothesis since the p value 0 0.00457 is lesser than 0 0.01. Hence, at all persons in the level, we conclude that the population hand size of milk is more than 20.5 cm. Through our hypothesis, we can conclude that the average hand size of males is not able to fit into a people's scan. Since the average male hand size is statistically larger than the average female hand size, we will focus on solving the issue for males as it will automatically solve it for the females too. To solve the issue, we have to make the size of the Pringles can bigger by utilizing the data of an average human male hand size. We can calculate how much expansion is needed, specifically by using confidence interval and taking the upper limit. Using a confidence level of 99%, we are able to find the upper and lower limit that contains the true average male population hand size 99% of the time. Firstly, we find out the mean and standard deviation of our sample. Then, we'll use the function qt and then multiply it by the standard deviation and divide it by the square root of the sample size to find the length of interval that will be subtracted and added to our sample mean to find our lower and upper limit respectively. From this, we arrive at an upper and lower limit that contains the true average male population hand size 99% of the time. As a result, we take the upper limit of 24.58 cm as the measurement to expand our Pringles can size too, ensuring that 99% of random samples taken can fit their hands in. However, we cannot just 
it increases the size of our Pringles can. The reason why the size of our Pringles can is so small in the first place is to prevent the chips from toppling over. And that's why our group has come up with a proposed solution. Introducing the Pringles 2.0 Original, the most smart and innovative Pringles can. Using breakthrough technology, we were able to craft out a solution that retains its signature look and purpose, yet allowing you to grab those delicious last few chips for your satisfaction. No more hurting your delicate little hands trying to reach into the can. With the new Pringles 2.0 design, you can expand the diameter of the can by 4.6 cm using a collapsible flap to reach all the way in for your chips. And if you're done eating, no problem. Fold it back up and store it. Easy. Pringles 2.0 Original. The new way of feasting. Wow, a new way of feasting. Mm. A new way of eating!